This is Craig Halgard with your Financial Issues Ag Update for April 13th. Well, the underwhelming USDA supply and demand report on Friday, combined with yesterday's disappointing weekly export inspections of 62.4 million bushels, hit the corn market on its heels yesterday as the spot futures finished 8 cents lower. After the close, the planting progress report put the crop at 4% planted, which was below the trade expectations of 6%. In addition to keeping an eye on the South American crops, look for traders to focus on the possibility that corn is buying more acres at these price levels. Those two items will probably hold the near-term future of corn prices in their hands. Soybeans sold off sharply in spite of the announcement of the sale of China and good weekly export inspections of 12 million bushels. The sell-off was led by weakness in soybean oil. Over the weekend, the Brazilian government made a change in its biodiesel mandate. The government reversed its mandate from 13% down to 10% to deal with temporary distortions in the vegetable oil market. That basically freed up 350 million gallons of soybean oil that previously would have been used in Brazil. The news pushed soybean oil sharply lower, and pulled soybeans down along with it. Wheat was lower as traders focused on weather for winter wheat development and planting conditions for spring wheat. The weekly export inspections came in about as expected at 16.8 million bushels. Here in the U.S., 5% of the winter wheat crop is now heading out, while 11% of the spring wheat crop has been planted. Internationally, Sovicon bumped their estimate of the 21 Russian wheat production from 79.3 million metric tons up to 80.7. Conditions remain on the drier side across the Black Sea region, but additional showers are expected over the next 6 to 10 days. Cotton futures suffered a fairly sharp setback to start the week. At the close yesterday, May futures were 226 points lower, settling at 80.14. 8% of the cotton crop is now planted, and that's slightly ahead of the 5-year average planting pace. Livestock futures Futures were mixed on the day yesterday. At the close, June live cattle futures were 47.5 cents lower, while May feeder cattle were up 7.5 cents at the close. Lean hog futures had the roughest session, with June futures finishing $2.80 lower for the day. Class 3 milk futures accelerated to the upside as they put in a new life of contract high yesterday. At the close, the May futures were up 58 points, settling at 1996. And finally, meat cutout values were mixed on Monday. Choice box beef was 76 cents lower, closing at 271.41. Select boxes were $2.09 higher, settling at 266.16. Pork carcass cutoff values were, were quite a bit weaker, actually finished $3.07 lower as they settled out at $110.10 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Egg Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this. <music> 